Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you're listening to this broadcast. Let's talk today about how to understand how engaged your email subscribers are in your digital marketing program. The first thing we're going to want to do is be able to isolate our email traffic. So let's go to our Google Analytics account. We're under the standard reporting tab. <clears throat> Pick any of the tabs here. I picked engagement. Just for, It's a good place to start. You want to click on advanced segments. We're going to create a new one for our email marketing traffic. Let's call it that email marketing traffic. I right, want to include our sources. Now, if you are a what counts customer it includes uh, sources like Publicaster or the what counts email platform. And we'll hit save. And we'll just check this really quick. Yep, that looks good. <clears throat> Got uh, about 11% of our traffic here is from email. Now, that alone is kind of cool. <clears throat> but now let's go ahead and create a custom report to measure that engagement we were talking about first. We'll call it uh, engagement by email. Now let's add some metrics here. Let's add some things that might be useful to know. We would probably want to know how many unique visitors did we get. Uh, that would be a good thing to know. We want to know how many pages per visit did we get. Uh, we'd want to know how many people started uh, to a conversion process, and we'd probably want to know how many people uh, ended a conversion process here. <clears throat> and of course, uh, from here we'd want to add a dimension, something uh, simple like uh, what source medium pairings are there would be a, a good way to tell. <clears throat> so we're going to be measuring these four attributes. We'll hit save. And now we can see here very quickly, uh, you know, organic search, uh, email, Facebook, and a few other things. So let's turn on that email marketing traffic segment. And now we can compare our email marketing versus all of our site traffic to see how things are going. Uh, for example, we see here email marketing is responsible for about 9.84% of our uh, site traffic. That's, uh, you know, in terms of people, that's, that's pretty good. What we find here is that in terms of pages per, per visit, people who come in via email see more pages, a little bit more than people who don't. We see 3.8% uh, here versus 2.6%. So uh, a, a statistically significant difference. Um, and you think about it, <clears throat> it's 21% more than the average site visitor. Where I think it gets really interesting is uh, when you start looking into conversion data, such as 16% uh, you know, of goal starts and 70% of goal completions. That means that email is actually hitting above its weight when you think about it. Uh, if it's only 9.8% of traffic, but it's getting uh, almost 18% of the completions, uh, email is converting at roughly double what all the other site mechanisms are converting at. And that's a very good thing to know. That's the sort of thing that you want to investigate more and dig down uh, in your engagement reports to see what exactly are they converting on, what's the most popular things. And those are topics for another, uh, another screencast. But this is a very short, very easy way way to look at um, how your email marketing program is doing in terms of performance, engagement on the site, and then conversion, sort of the, the holy trinity there. Take this uh, idea and apply it to your own email marketing program and see how yours measures up. Thanks for watching. You can check out more about us at whatcounts.com.